What's up everybody, this is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my Hideyoshi Hashiba Samurai Warriors 1 Extreme Legends walkthrough, which is the Siege of Enemyama Castle. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm gonna get to a thousand subs. So what we're doing, this is the last video that I have to do on this uh, stage, I guess. And it is, um, we have to have one more bonus mission that we'll do. I'll show you how to do it, how to walk through, how to do it. It's not too bad. The one that was harder was last week's video where we had to basically speed run the beginning of the level. This one is a lot easier to do because it just involves us kind of waiting around for the enemies to win. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna run over here, start the level off like normal. So I'm gonna still run to the left here, get rid of uh, this dude over here, and then from here we're going to still uh, take Inabayama Castle. Obviously, we can't not do that, because if the construction fails, we automatically lose. That's actually, because it's Hideyoshi's level, we actually cannot lose this mission. So, yeah. It's kind of interesting how that works that way. But yeah, so we've got this done now. Got rid of whatever that guy's name is. Good luck pronouncing that. And then we're going to come running over here and defeat the guy at Tsunamata. But then this is where it's going to deviate. So what we're going to do is come over here. Then we're just going to wait here and let the siege ramp die. That is used to attack the lumber place over there at uh, the eastern side of the map. That mission has to fail. You have to let the siege ramp die. Kind of weird. Again. Always cool how they basically have missions set up for in case you get behind and lose some mission or something happens, you actually still get other missions, which is really, really cool. I love that they did that in the first Samurai Warriors game and they freaking don't do that anymore. So, or the game is inaccessible. That's also a problem. But, um, yeah. It's very strange. So, who am I? Yeah, so that's who we're going to leave alive. We're going to let that general defeat that uh, siege weapon before it gets close. Because if you don't defeat the general, then you're going to be, you're going to lose that lumber. I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but I know that that's the mission we have to fail. It's also the only mission that's like kind of left to fail, so it's kind of like you don't have a choice. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't make it too crazy. Um, the first... Uh, thing from last week that was pretty crazy with having to do certain things to beat that it was pretty crazy so I'm pretty impressed with that they came up with things the missions that they came up with this game are just so creative I'm like such a huge fan of how they did it um, but yeah we're gonna basically just sit here and we're just gonna keep Kuroku alive we're not gonna let the siege ramp succeed so we're just gonna kind of run around here for a while beat some Saito troops weaken them wouldn't hurt uh, to do that because Saito's troops are kind of infinite right now that's the way this level has some degree of challenge obviously if you had no enemy if you cleared everything out this would be like the easiest level ever so they kind of want to make it slightly more challenging which is what they're doing here by making Saito's units just keep spawning forever um, yeah, so we're just gonna wait here, honestly. We're not gonna, we're just gonna keep fighting units here, just because why not? And then, from here, we'll wait till we fail this mission. I don't know what's gonna happen again. I, I assume we're still gonna beat the, we still have to have the castle, or else, yeah. But we can defeat this, and then, um, protect Kuroku after we do this. And obviously we have to protect that, we can't not protect Kuroku. If we lose Kuroku and lose the castle, we lose the level, so we have to do this the right way. But um, again, this is all really cool that they do this stuff, so I'm pretty pumped. In the meantime, we're just going to keep beating up stuff, and there's the siege ramp. Oh, so have to fail this mission so I guess I'm just gonna kind of wait around for a while I guess it says one three fail one five pass and one three is attack 
the lumber storage. If you want to be failure, everyone buys success. So yeah, we're just we're not gonna do that actually. So now what I guess I'll do is I'm gonna come running down here, and I'm gonna actually defeat that general now that I think is actually moving towards Kuroku. Yeah, he is. So I'm gonna go over here and defeat this guy because he actually is attacking right here. Oh wow, I literally just destroyed that guy, oh my gosh. So yeah, we're gonna still not, um, we're still not gonna get rid of, uh, what's his name, the storage. We're gonna actually try to fail that. So again, I'm, I'm nervous about what's gonna happen when we let this fail, but it should be interesting. Basically, it, it looks like from what I'm seeing now online, we're gonna get a defeat, a different version of the defeat the Saito general, like the commander. We're gonna get a different version of that if we do this. So I don't see how this will turn into a pass, honestly. So we're gonna have to just kind of see what it does. But yeah. In the meantime, we're gonna keep working on all this. Fortunately, we're like defeating so many units that we have pretty strong morale now on our side. I mean, as strong as we're going to be without having finished everything. Kuroku's got a good, good sturdy morale. I'm still going to come over here and help him, though, because I don't want him to die. Obviously, if he dies, then it loses. Again, I don't know why he has a, doesn't have a ping on him, like a he is a commanding officer thing, but that's fine. for a while. In the meantime, we're just going to keep taking out generals here, or taking out troops here, weakening all the, their sides so that if we do have a big morale drop here, it's not going to be the end of the world. Oh, Kuroku needs to back up. Dude, what are you doing? Do not come out here. I think that he, he listened. It's also funny how the castle is literally on the map, even though it says, like, you're going to build the castle in one day. It's like, no, the castle's here. So yeah, it says... One, three, failure. So I guess I just... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep... I'm gonna wait it out. And just keep taking out units, I guess. I assume that I won't fail the mission if I don't do this. Or if this doesn't fail, I don't think. Yeah, see, here we go. So I'm assuming now we're gonna fail the timbers thing. Yes. Okay, we did do it. So we failed that, and now we're gonna take out all these officers right here that are gonna try to attack us. Gotta keep Kuroku alive. How much morale does this guy have? Okay. Oh, they're both beat up, wow, okay. I guess because I've been defeated. See, that's why you defeat their units. When you do that, it makes this a little bit easier. Oh, like, so much easier, actually. All right, so let me find my horse, which I left back at the main camp. Yeah, Kuroku's just chilling here. I'm gonna come running over here and get rid of this dude over here and then get rid of Hanbei when he comes and gets closer and then we should be good. Continue the assault. Alright, all of that. Now we're gonna come running over 
here and get rid of Hanbei. And then we should be good to go. So then that'll be the mission, I believe, that should do it. We'll be Fort 1. If we get rid of Hanbei. Which we easily did. We are, we're basically just a tank right now. So we still we still built the castle, so I guess that just changes the I don't even know what that's supposed to do. I mean, I guess it's just ways to speed that process up, but I mean, it feels like it wouldn't have changed anything. See, that's a whole different dialogue tree. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. And see, that's again why this game is amazing. Like, why they thought of that, I don't know, but I'm glad they did. The fact that they very much let you know, like, hey, you could do better. If you get to this point, you could do better. Like, Hideyoshi literally says, I could do better. It's a really, really uh, easy way to kind of allow for a lot of replayability here, but also um, it also allows for, um, what can I say? Yeah, replayability, but also kind of grace for newer players who don't necessarily know what all to do in these games. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty pumped about that. So we just got rid of everything on the map. Every general except for the his officer who's just chilling with him at the base. I'm gonna kinda run through all these units. His morale still he still does have a morale, but it's not gonna last because I'm I'm mowing down all the troops there. And then also um our generals are also finding his stuff. His stuff is the only thing that's left, so. But so that's interesting, very interesting stuff. And we just unlocked it. So now at this point, we'll basically just kind of have fun with it. Crazy that there's like defense captains. That is very interesting. So Mitsuhide was not kidding. They, they kind of could handle that attack. It was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it's so interesting that just because we didn't have enough wood, the cannons don't do as much damage apparently. Question? I'm not really sure, but I, I like the way they uh, I like the way they did it. I like that. All right, so now we're gonna get rid of this dude. Gonna come over here, get rid of Saito, and then we'll have unlocked every mission. So then we'll just finish out the uh, campaign or the story by doing the castle part, which will be fine. But yeah. still dealt two times multiplier as possible and there we go so now we'll just finish out the castle part but th that's what you gotta do to get that last mission so it's kind of a doozy because you just have to wait and it's like i doubt anyone would ever do that without trying to unlock it secretly but there you go so hope you enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of the video thanks peace Three look as if they rejoiced. What was the signal? I, I can't remember. It'd be best to hide the whole thing. If I fire some arrows at the target, the enemy will be stunned.
Shunomari. I was impressed with your tactics, but how is your swordsmanship? You're saying I have to be able to dodge that sword? Your moves are as good as the rumors say. Is that a compliment? That's it. Between the second and third floor. I should just take them on in order. This is such a complicated way to do it. defeated!
subscribe.